I know, I know, script optimization here is not the most interesting or exciting topic in the world, but we're just going to make a quick video here to make you aware of some of the things that you should do to optimize your scripts here in Next.js, and then also just show you a quick example of it, and then you'll be out of your way and you'll at least you'll at least know it's a thing that you should do when working with scripts in Next.js. So here are the docs. You can see my URL with where I'm at, but there's a section on script optimization that basically shows using this script tag that you import from next forward slash script. So here it says to load a third party script for multiple routes, import next forward slash script and include the script directly into your layout component. So they are loading this script within the dashboard component and it's going to load this script for this route segment here or anything that the dashboard layout wraps around and remember the layout is going to wrap around the pages and everything else within that route segment. The third party script is fetched when the folder route dashboard forward slash page.js or any nested route dashboard forward slash settings forward slash page.js is accessed by the user. Next.js will ensure the script will only load once even if a user navigates between multiple routes in the same layout. This is how you can load a script within a particular route and I'll show you this here in just a second. And then for application scripts or to load a third party script for all routes. So you want this available throughout your entire application. Well, then you can just load it within your root layout within Next.js. So within your app folder at forward slash layout, you can just render your script at the root level of your application. You can also configure your script a little bit here. So it says, although the default behavior of next script allows you to load third party scripts in any page or layout, you can fine tune its loading behavior by using the strategy property. So you can set the strategy property to before interactive, which is saying load the script before any Next.js code and before any page hydration occurs after interactive, which is the default behavior of the script tag, load the script early, but after some hydration on the page occurs, lazy onload, load the script later during browser idle time. So this could be like a good strategy if the script isn't going to be like critical right away. And then there's also like an experimental feature to where you load the script with a web worker. And then we also have inline scripts or scripts not loaded from an external file. They can be written by placing the JavaScript within curly braces. So here you open up your script tag like so, and then you can open up curly braces to effectively enter JavaScript land. And then you can use backticks and then you can use the web document or the DOM document to get elements and add class lists, remove them, or you can also do something very similar by adding a dangerously set inner HTML property and passing that as a prop. So your JavaScript here is a prop to dangerously set HTML. So if you need to do inline scripts, you can do either one of these. I'd probably just go with this route because it's a little bit cleaner, but if you just like to live life on the edge and play things a little dangerously, you can go this route as well. And then you also have event handlers with a script component. So on load, execute code after the script is finished loading. On ready, execute code after the script is finished loading and every time the component is mounted. So it's basically like on load, just when the script is finished loading is some code that you can write. On ready is the script is loaded and then every time the component is mounted, you're going to run this code. And then you have on air, which you execute code if the script fails to load. You can see you have your script tag, you can set on load, and then you can run a console.log that the certain script has loaded. If you want this code to run every time this page component mounts, you could pass in an on ready. And then if you want to handle errors to see if your script loading errors, you can pass on error to this. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you must use use client to run this code on load, on ready, or on air. 
it's not going to be allowed within a server component. And then you can also pass additional attributes. So data test IDs, similar stuff that you can pass as just HTML attributes. So let's go ahead and go to a Next.js application here. This is an application that I made, just a demo application for showing you guys dynamic routes. So you might have seen this in a previous video. But if I run npm run dev, and I can post this GitHub link down below. And if you want to clone it, run npm install and then npm run dev to see this as well, feel free to kind of follow along here. But basically, what we're going to do here is within this posts route segment here, let's maybe add a layout.js folder. And then I'll export a default function called layout. And then we will return maybe just a React fragment. We need to make sure to render out the children here as well. Do this or else you're not going to see any of the pages within this route segment. And then for now, let's just do an H2 and do layout posts to make sure that this is working as expected. So if I go to locos 3000 and I go to forward slash posts, we should see this layout post here at the top. So now let's open the console and let's try to load a script here. So if I come back to render out a script here, what I can do is we can use the script tag, import that from next script. And then what we can do is we can add an SRC and let's just load Lodash here. So it's going to be HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash CDN dot js deliver dot net forward slash npm forward slash lodash forward slash lodash dot min dot js and then we will not add a strategy we'll just keep it as a default but keep in mind you could add a strategy here and this is where you're going to add stuff like before interactive after interactive so on and so forth but let's actually just add an onload to make sure that we are rendering this script. So let's do onload, make it a function. It just says console.log, say loaded, lodash. And then we'll, of course, close our script. Now, I think this should air right now. So if we come back to localhost, we should see an error. And it's because event handlers can't be passed to client components. So... We need to go ahead and make this a client component here. Now, instead of making your entire layout a client component, it'd probably be better to just wrap this script tag in a client component and then import this client component into this layout. So you don't make your entire layout a client component, but for the sake of this, we're just going to put use client here up at the top. And then if we come back, we clear the console and I refresh here, I don't see anything happening, which is not generally a good thing to see. So let's uh, add an on air to see if there was something that aired here. And then we'll come back and I'll refresh. When we do see an error loading load edge, what's going on here? So do I get an error object here? I think I probably should. Let's console log the error. And we see it is an event. And it is of type error. And we're not really getting a good error message here from this error. Looking at my URL here, do you guys see what I did wrong here? I put load ash instead of low dash because that's just how I am. So uh, let's fix that mistake. Let's clear this console and refresh. And now we see loaded Lodash. So uh, yeah, I was just had a typo in the URL, which is very common in those. So we loaded it within our posts layout. Let's go to our root layout here. Let's clear the console and refresh. You see, we don't see anything right now because we only loaded Lodash within the posts layout so there we go to post 
and then we see loaded Lodash. So of course, if you wanted to load Lodash, man, that's getting confusing. Maybe I should have used something other than Lodash. But we would then just render the script tag within the root layout here, and then we would see it everywhere. So let's go ahead and do that quick. So I'm just going to copy what I have here, or actually Command X. So it's no longer within our post layout. And I'm going to remove those because it doesn't need to be a client component anymore. And then in our root layout, I am going to go ahead and paste this in here. But we need to make sure to import this from next script. And then if we come back, we see it needs to be with a client component. So let's do that quick. And now if I come back, you are attempting to load metadata in a client component, which isn't allowed. Let's just delete this. Uh, in the future, like I said, you could create a wrapper component for this script and render it within client component and then import it to get around that issue. Enter is not defined. Let's just get rid of this class as well. Sorry about this. Now we come back and now we see our posts and we loaded Lodash. Let's clear it just to make sure. So we load it within our posts, which is expected. And we also load it here. You can see it getting loaded when I do command R within our root layout as well. So when you render it within your root layout, you're going to see it gets loaded in all of your layouts. But if you just want to render it in a specific layout, then just render the script component within the layout of that specific route. All right. So that is how you can optimize your scripts here. Sorry about some of those hiccups there, but you know, I guess it helped maybe to see some of the common errors of not using a client component if you're like trying to run code like on an event, like on load, on air, and different things like that. So thanks for tuning into this. I'll see you in the next one.